In this video, I want to show you how to link the Rowing in Motion app to an analytics account. So when you first start the app, you'll be greeted by this screen where you click on register or sign in. This will take you to the browser where you can log into your analytics account, either using a username or password, or you can log in using any of the existing Google accounts or Facebook accounts you may have. Uh, if you don't have an analytics account yet, you can click on register, which will take you to the screen where you can enter your details and sign up for an account. Once you've signed into your account, you'll be taken automatically back to the app where the app will communicate with analytics to establish the link between the two. Once that's done, you'll be greeted by the first time screen, which will take you to the guide if you want to. Um, I strongly suggest you just take a look at the guide and see what's in there. It basically explains how the app works, how to properly mount your device in the boat, which is very important to get accurate measurements, and how the screens work and just explain all the features that are inside the app. Inside the app you can swap between screens by swiping left or right which is very convenient when you're in the boat. This screen here shows the acceleration graph and I just simulate a couple of strokes by tilting the device. At the top of the screen is the toolbar which is where you can access logging and sonification and have also access to the other screens like the settings screens through the button at the right hand side there. So you click on there, click on settings, and that'll take you to settings where you can uh, enable various features or disable various features of the app. The other thing that you'll find there is a link to the guide again. So if you at any time want to review uh, something about how the app works, that's where you do it. 